this is MDA calculator using big decimal so let me just show you how it works if, if you select any of these uh, radio button you can just maybe add up here there supposing I select division that's what I get if I decide to select multiplication and the same thing apply to subtraction if you notice I ended up with three decimal places that's because that's what I've specified inside the big decimal itself if I decide to increase the size of the big decimal the same thing will happen so let me just click on reset exit and uh, if I take you guys to the codes right in here let me double click on where I added it up right here you can if you notice I have the decimal I specified that as three decimal place supposing I say maybe five so which is the whole idea of what big decimal is all about I will end up with five decimal places I can even end up with over 20 so maybe let's even go for 20 instead of five let's make that 20 okay now I have 24 for each of the operators so if I come into my program right here I might need enough space here so let me just drag this one down okay that's fine for now so if I run the program that is it right there so whatever I enter in here and let's say we multiply you see that that's what big decimal is all about uh, you can even specify more than 20 anyway whatever you like that's the multiplication division subtraction that's what the big decimal is all about guys so what I will do next is uh, take you guys straight into Java Net being development environment and I will put another one together with you guys so that you see how to put this kind of program together so let's do that now okay the next thing I will do is to click on this very new project or go to file select new project and then make sure java is selected click on next and right there i intend to call this mdas underscore big just call it big days right there so uncheck this uh, create main class click on ok so right there i have my file right there ready for operations so just click on that select new and we'll go for J frame and inside the J frame let's give that a name as well I'll be MDAS right underscore this okay let's just put an S in there and give this a name the pack a name as well so there wouldn't be any space in there right there click on OK alright that's how my frame is looking right now just extend the frame about that size and enter the following I need a couple of labels here one and two need another label as my output I need two buttons one here in fact three buttons another one here and another button here okay I have all my buttons in place now I also need text field one text field and another text field okay now that the text field is in place let's insert some radio buttons one radio button two and we have three and four so this radio button I intend to group them together so what I will do next is select button group okay that's my button group if I drop that on board you see the button group right here so the radio button itself let's give them a name so the first radio button if I go to the property I will change the variable name to J let's say so that is mount okay that's fine then come over here the property right there and change the name to more application then the next thing is select the group that it belongs to that's the button right there group button select that it belongs to group one that's right there click on number two radio button number two come to the property so give that a name as well 
So that's J division there. Now go to the property right here. Change this to group two, and you will see a link between these two. Yeah, you see them? They've linked together. Can you see right there? So come in here and change that to division. The next thing is these ones. Let's get that sorted as well. Right, that's, uh, let's change that to J addition property. Link it up to group button one, no button one group. And the name right there become addition. Okay, we repeat the same thing for the last one. So if we group that together, come in here, change that to subtraction and the name that uh, will come j subtraction there and that's all for the radio buttons now that the radio buttons is sorted all i need to do now is to name all of this component that you guys are seeing there so i'm going to just speed that up okay this is how my interface is looking right now but there's no code nothing so far just undo that so the next thing i'll do now is double click on total so right underneath here and i'm going to first of all import let's import java dot math dot big decimal there then the next thing i will do right underneath here was i have to import this big decimal first for the big decimal to be able to work let's declare the following variable so that's my first number yeah that's cool Let's declare another one. Uh, let's call that second number. Yeah, I'll be using those two variables. So, right here, let's go to the button right here. You see the button? Double click on that. And right here, I would now assign as follows. So, first number, first number equals double dot post right there. And the name of my that will be j text field as for my text field right there for text field one dot get text so that's for the very first text field enter my parenthesis right in here semicolon so that's the first one ready so i might as well just copy that to save to save time and change this one to second number And this one is text field 2. So, right underneath, I will now declare the following local variable as well. So, let's call that answer 1. Then, let me declare a string variable. So, let me just call that answer itself. So, right underneath here, I will use as follows if j mount dot I think there's an I there dot let's see what the name is let's see the name of this very one is called yeah there's no I there that's fine so let's go back into the code there's that dot so that should become is select so if it's selected right there dot is select okay good using so I would then say num1 equals first number multiply by second number okay and this is where I will now enter my big decimal. The big decimal. Well, let's give that a. Let a equals new big new big decimal right here, and assign my number answer to the big decimal. That's that's that sorted. Then answer itself equals string. As you guys can see up here so i will now assign big decimal to the answer so that it can we can enter that in our 
where our answer is meant to be so let's say point let me go for maybe six decimal places or five let's go for five decimal places and just enter f there so that stands for five decimal places and right here that will become letter a end it oh sorry okay j label that's j label three dot set text the text i'm going to set in this case will become answer that is it right there that's the first part of it and that's just for multiplication so the other ones all i just need to do is to copy so that will be else else if if i select division there so this change that to division now repeat exactly the same thing copy paste if i select addition as if addition is selected and this one becomes addition and the last but not the least will be else if if i select subtraction change this to subtraction and this let's change this to subtraction there and that's all there is to it that's how you create an mda calculator using big decimal here are the lines of codes so the other things left for me to do now is just to get these ones let's reset the button that's the reset button there double click on that and just paste that right there this is number one and change this to set text then in here you have no no value in there let's repeat exactly the same thing for number two so just change this to two Maybe another one for the label. So just change this to label three. Okay, that's just my reset. That's label three. So all I need to do now is so that become system dot exit. That's the exit code right there. So I'm gonna now save the program and compile and just run it okay click on ok right there that's my new big decimal so just enter anything in there so let's say i'll go for that as division okay you can see five decimal places but if i multiply it as the answer right there addition subtraction okay guys Let's try the reset button. That's fine. Exit. That works as suspected. So let me just show you guys the codes one more time. Okay. So you start by importing the big decimal right there. Make sure that it's imported. Declare your variables. Come right down here and enter the following lines of code. Okay. The variables declared, I then assign the content of the text field into the variables declare another variable to store both global variable and then big decimal then converted that right here as big decimal right there and then convert it to string and then the final output is display inside this very label and that's all there is to it the rest part of it is just changing the radio button the name of the radio button and change the arithmetic operator and that's it right there that's for division addition and subtraction and that's how you use big decimal to develop an MDAS calculator so I just call it by for now guys